Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Quick question. What can you do with an extra $300 a week? Assuming you just find out how you can make extra $300 every week. What are you going to do with it? Well, in today's Money Monday, I want to talk about seven ways you can make money using your car. And hopefully, at the end of this short presentation, you will experience life-changing tips. <laughs> All right, guys, let's dive into this. Okay, okay. So, if you want to make extra $200 every week, what are the things you can do to make that dream come true? Number one, this is achievable if you have a car. Okay? So these particular tips I'm going to share with you now are for those who own a car and maybe they don't know what to do with their car when they are not using it. So these tips will go a long way to help you guys. So number one, one of the ways you can make money using your car is if you drive for rideshare apps like Uber and Lyft. These are common these days and it's not even limited to only United States. All over the world now, you probably have Uber everywhere. Okay, but the question is, how does driving for Uber fetch you that extra 300 bucks weekly? So. Let's say you have a regular job, you have a nine to five job, and at the weekend, you ain't doing nothing. Why don't you drive with your car? If you have a good car, simply register with Uber, and you can drive for three, four hours, make real good money. You do that twice a day in a week, I guarantee you, you're gonna make more than 300 bucks. And this is really good for those who especially needed that extra income to augment their expenses. So if you are owing, let's say, credit card debts or you have some other demands that need extra cash or maybe you just have to make provision for some things in your life and your regular job cannot provide all the finances you need. So why don't you just drive Uber or Lyft? And makes that happen number two you can deliver food so let's assume that you don't want you are that type of person who don't want people being in your car you know because tell you what driving for ride share companies can be something else sometimes you don't even know who's gonna be sitting behind you in the next couple of minutes so let's say you don't want to do that you don't want people coming in and out of your vehicle you can actually do food delivery services you sign up with doordash and uh which are the other one uber eats yeah doordash and uber eat are really good at that so and you make good money doing that too now the actual pay per delivery might not be that much i've seen people said um they earn as low as five dollars per delivery even in some cities some people say they want made some deliveries where they get paid four dollars but the cool thing is with food delivery um the customers always tip you can deliver the food and they give you a tip and the tips is usually higher you the main service might be maybe five dollars but they can tip you ten dollars so imagine if you do like 10 deliveries in a day and you get tip an average of five dollars per delivery that's like 50 bucks Add that on top of the actual charges that you get paid for the delivery, you're looking at maybe 100 bucks. And you can actually do this in less than three hours, four hours top. So if you do that like three times a week, you are guaranteed of 300 bucks. Although the money might not sound so huge, you know, I'm, I'm not that type of YouTuber who want to tell you do this and you make five thousand dollars a week no no i'm just gonna share with you guys what i have done myself 
what I have experimented and I know that it works. So I know $300 a week as side or zoo is a, it's achievable. You can, you can add, you can definitely make that happen if you own a car. So consider driving for DoorDash or Uber Eat. And the other one you can also do is delivering groceries. Back then when I was driving Uber, I didn't know that delivering groceries is actually another avenue where you can make real cool money. Although it wasn't popular at the time, I'm talking about in my city, Austin, back in 2015, 2016, uh, we don't have Instacart and shipped. And even if we have them, I don't think we don't have them at that time. But right now we have Instacart shipped in most major cities in the United States. And if you consider grocery delivery, you can make a really good income doing that on the side, okay? Number three, you can do uh, Amazon Flex. You can deliver for Amazon Flex. This one actually is way beyond part-time hustle. You can actually drive Amazon Flex full-time. If you don't want to be um, the kind of person that do all these odd jobs where you have been disrespected or the job is not just it's not just something you want to do especially you know when you come to the United States as um, an immigrant you're going to start from scratch and sometimes some of these mini jobs they are really I don't want to say they are insulting but if you just don't have if you don't have it in you to do up all those type of job, consider driving for Amazon Flex. You will be your own boss and you will make good income. I think um, studies have shown that people make around $180 driving for hours, you know, doing delivery Amazon Flex. Those who really understand how it works, some of them do money runs, you know, they they get to the warehouse earlier, uh, maybe by five, um, around six, seven, they set out by 10, they already done with their deliveries and they've earned maybe around 80 bucks. So imagine if you do that maybe three times a week, even twice a week, you already make $300 extra. So number five, uh, you can wrap your car in advertising. This one is very cool, though. If you have a brand new car and you do a lot of driving around the city, maybe by the version of your job, you have to be on the move most of the time and you're using your vehicle. You can actually consider wrapping your vehicle with advertisements, you know. And um, here in United States, two companies that do that is uh, Car Vertise, I think Carvertise and Rapify. I know Rapify, but the Carvertise, I'm not really familiar with that. So I know Rapify will actually wrap your vehicles. You know, it's a contract. And when the contract is done, they can easily unwrap it and the vehicle is still going to remain intact. So you can consider doing that because they actually pay you per mile. So some of you, um, the big jobs that were around home visits, you know, like there are some nurses that do home health, you know, they go from one home to another all day long, driving around the city. This is actually something good that you can make some extra income on, you know, passive income, right? Uh, number six, you can rent out your car when you are not using it. This one is actually very, very cool. A friend of mine, um, very good friend of mine we work together he used to do this and i was even considering getting into the business before you know i got changed my mind like come on let me do something else but this one is really cool and this one simply means that you have a car that usually sits on your garage most of the time maybe you drive maybe once a week or twice a week and after that you really don't have use for it you can consider listing that car on turo or get around and I think when my friend was doing this, sometimes, especially like in the summer, some people might just take my friend's car for a whole month. And he gets paid sometimes 370, sometimes for something a week. 
and these are usually sedan cars, not like a super expensive car. Some people do host big cars anyway, luxury cars. You can do Mercedes, you can do Tesla, you can do all kinds of SUV or stuff like that. But if you really don't want to risk it, like putting your fancy vehicle uh, to that kind of use, you can do lower cars. If you just have simple sedan, four door or something, um, and it's relatively new car, consider put that, putting that car on Toro and you make good money from it. You know, the money you make from there can help with paying the car note himself and the insurance, you know. So lastly, you can, if you have a car, you can offer to help people move around or move items around. You know, there are some people who want to move something from point A to point B, but they don't have the time or there are some people who live with their, you know, their elderly ones, maybe their dad, their mom, who want to go to appointments. And by the virtue of where we live, you know, everybody got to walk. So maybe they aren't free to take them to the appointment. You can volunteer to pick up their good ones and take them to the appointment. We pay you handsomely for that. All right. So these are just like seven ways I think you can make money with your car and the income is really good. I want to read from you guys anyway. I want you to drop in the comment if you know any other way people can make money using their car. Please let us share, you know. This is Uncle Benno. I like, I've always told you guys, I'm all about sharing, okay? Let's share with each other. Let's help each other grow. And particularly, I want to tell you guys, if you are having credit card debt, if you are really dealing with credit card issues, and you really want to pay your loan up so fast. You want to get rid of those debts. Side dozens like this are what can actually help you to overcome. I think I'm going to share my own personal experience with you guys, how I was able to overcome credit card debt to the United States and the benefit that comes with it. You see, it's not easy to get out of credit card debt. If you want to get rid of credit card, you need to make that extra income. And this idea that I just shared with you guys now can help in doing that. So hit the like, hit the like, give us thumbs up and don't be a stranger. Leave comments. Let me read from you. You know, I'm always in the comment. I always like to reply to you guys. So let me know what you think. And of course, tell us any other way you think people can make money with their vehicles. I know this story with Uber is terrible nowadays. Uber is not really paying that much like used to but hey nothing is too small if you can at least make it work you know what i tell people now is that if you want to drive for uber or lyft don't drive when it's less busy wait for the peak period when it is super busy especially in the weekends that's when you you come out and you drive and, and you're still gonna make good money from that all right thank you for listening and of course thank you for being here Join me on Uncle Benu channel when I'm going to be review some other tips on how you can make money with your vehicle. I'm going to have a live show and I'll be looking forward to have you guys there. All right. Thank you very, very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.